Recording in progress. Namaste. So inviting in harmony. So throughout our 10 week session, we've been practicing always starting our endeavor with gratitude and the breath. So let's invite a deep inhale in through your nose. Now you might release it out through your mouth or out through your nose. Good. Perhaps a little smile on your lips. Let's do that one or two more times. A deeper, fuller inhale in through your nose. And a more complete exhale, releasing and letting go. When you're ready, one more time. Big, full inhale. And a cleaning out exhale. Good. I'm pausing for a moment here. Grateful for this community. I'm grateful for this, this habit of coming together on our yoga mat, joining together to help to keep energy flowing freely in our physical body and our energy body even in our mental body. Gratitude for the Charlevoix Public Library for these amazing offerings, giving us ways to connect. And here, I would invite you to think of three things that you are grateful for. Now, another full breath in, and as you exhale, perhaps a little bow of your head towards your heart space, maybe even a little smile here. Thank you, self. Good. And when you're ready, gently release your hands, slowly open your eyes and lift your gaze. So the practice of gratitude and the breath will be a friend for you throughout all times, throughout any stressful times, it can be very beneficial to shift our focus just for a moment and think of what we're grateful for. Perhaps some of you already have a gratitude practice. I know that I've spoken with some of you who do it in the evening before bed and others who do it uh, upon waking as part of your morning routine. Uh, remembering that through Throughout our practice, throughout our practice of yoga on the mat, we learn different tools and techniques so that we can apply them to our day-to-day -day life. So if we find ourselves uh, mentally chewing on something that is creating a not so pleasant atmosphere uh, within ourselves, it might be a moment to do what we've done for the last nine weeks, pause, think of what you're grateful for, and focus on your breath. Let's take a deep breath in and exhale. So you've already created habits and patterns helping to give you the ability to shift, to pivot. We're going to work on our diaphragmatic breathing pattern as this is also a wonderful stress relief practice. So here, let's bring our hands onto our abdomen. You might have your hands onto your belly, perhaps one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, however feels best for you. And we'll inhale and exhale. Now bring your awareness to any movement you might feel in your abdomen. So as you inhale, notice if you could relax through your belly, relax through your torso 
and feel perhaps a gentle expansion of your belly. And then when you're exhaling, finding the space of your abdomen, the area around your belly button, moving in even slightly with your exhale. On your inhale, we'll feel the breath filling in to the belly, the chest, and all the way up to the collarbones. And then with your exhale, releasing the breath from the collarbones, chest, all the way down to the belly. Now we've practiced this a lot in a reclined position. So just noticing and finding the ways that we can translate all of the different practices, no matter what position we find ourselves in. Good. Let's do one more of this belly breathing. Inhale, expanding belly, chest, filling in all the way up around your collarbones. Good. And exhaling from your chest, all the way emptying out. Feel your belly button move in even slightly. Good. And then we'll release that breath. Relax your arms down to the floor beside you. And on your next inhale, sweep both arms all the way up high to the sky, reaching all the way up high to the sky. And as you exhale, sweep your arms through the sky and all the way back down by your sides. Very nice. Let's do this two more times. Inhale, reach your arms high up to the sky. And as you exhale, float your arms all the way back down by your sides. Good. Inhale, reaching your arms all the way up high to the sky. And exhale, releasing your arms all the way back down by your sides. Good. Inhale, just your right arm all the way up high to the sky, and then leaning over to the left side. Good. We'll stay here for three breaths. Relax your shoulders. Opening up through the side body is also promoting that opening that we get in springtime, just like the flowers that are starting to pop up. Good. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale that arm all the way back down. Inhale, left arm up high to the sky. Exhale, hinging over to the side. Good. Relaxing your shoulders away from your ears, noticing how you're holding your head and your neck. Good. Inhale, reaching all the way up. Exhale, releasing your arm back down. Beautiful, both arms up high to the sky. Inhale, now you'll twist to your right. Exhale, bring your right hand to the floor behind you and your left hand across to your opposite knee. Good, let's take three breaths here in this twist. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, lift up through your heart. Exhale, noticing if that belly button is still moving a little bit in towards your spine. Good. Full breath in, tall spine. Full breath out, a little squeeze at the belly. Let's come back to center. Inhale, reaching up high to the sky. And then second side, twist to your left. Left hand to the floor behind you. Right hand across your opposite knee. Good. Three full breaths here, sitting up nice and tall. And with your exhale, exhaling to empty so you have awareness at your navel center, your belly button squeezing in even slightly. Good. Let's inhale, come back to center, reach all the way up high to the sky. Now keep reaching up and relax your shoulders down. Good. Reach up, up, up through your fingers, through your arms. Keep sliding your shoulder blades flat down onto your back. Engage a little bit into your core. Good. Inhale up tall. Beautiful. Exhale, twist to your right again. Twisting to your right, bringing your right hand to the floor behind you. Left hand across. Good. Smooth, even breaths here. Helping the body to release any held tension or tightness. Clearing out any stagnation, any congestion. Let's inhale back to center, reach up, 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 up. Good, exhale as you twist to your left. Take your time, bring your left hand down, right hand coming across. Three breaths here.
Let's inhale all the way back up to center, reaching up, up, up. Shoulders relaxing down, keep reaching up through your fingers. Slide your shoulder blades down onto your back. Reach up, 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 up. Very nice. Now bring your hands together to touch, palms touch. And exhale, hands coming down in front of your heart. Very nice. Taking our mudra once again here, interlace your hands, release just your middle finger, letting your middle finger either point up or pointing straight out in front. Three full breaths. bringing a bend to your middle finger so now all of your fingers are interlaced turn and press your palms away bookmark your thumbs to lightly touch each other relax your shoulders down away from your ears good a couple more breaths here breathe into your wrist and forearms very nice now we'll slowly reach our arms up take your time inhale reach Reaching your arms slowly up, up, up. Exhale, staying here. Relax your shoulders as much as possible. Good. Now keep spreading and opening the palms of your hands up towards the sky. Very nice. Shoulders are relaxing down. Good. One more inhale here. Exhale, slowly bring your arms back down in front. Turn your palms to face towards your chest again and we will make figure eights with our wrist so a little dancing with your wrist mm, good and have a little bit of crunch crunch crunching happen uh, we are what we eat and I had a lot of um, dry roasted nuts yesterday <laughs> good all right, now taking a look at which finger is on top. So it might be that you find your left thumb over your right and your left index finger over your right, or perhaps the opposite. However it is, switch that so the other one is on top. Now when you first do that, it might feel a little weird. All right, so now my right thumb is on top of my left thumb and my right index finger is over my left. Hmm. All right, inhale here, exhale, turn and press your palms away. Good, maybe a slightly different stretch. You might be noticing a little difference in your wrist, your forearms. Relax your shoulders and let's slowly inhale, reaching your arms up. Staying here, exhale, relax your shoulders down, good. Now pressing up through your palms, anchoring down into the earth, perhaps through your sitting bones or through your hips. Spread the palm of your hand open. Good. And exhale slowly, bringing your arms all the way back down. Turn your palms to face towards you again. And we will once again do little figure eights with our wrist. Excellent. Very nice. And then releasing your hands, circling out through your wrist. Releasing your hands either down to your legs or down to the floor. Sit up nice and tall, deep inhale. Maybe an open mouth exhale. Good. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, turn and look to your right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, turn and look to your left. Let's do that one more time. Inhale to center. Exhale, turn and look to your right. Inhale to center. Exhale, and turn and look to your left. Good. Come back to center. Inhale and exhale. Nice. Sitting up nice and tall. Inhale deeply. Now exhale, release your right ear towards your right shoulder. You might reach your left fingertips out towards the floor. And then optional here to turn and look down towards your right armpit. We'll take three breaths here.
Good. Inhale, coming up to center. Exhale. Beautiful. Roll your shoulders. Just a little roll here. Nice. All right. Very nice. Left ear towards your left shoulder. Reaching out through your right fingertips, perhaps down towards the floor. And then optional here to turn to look down towards your left armpit. Inhale, coming up to center. And exhale. Very nice. Draw little circles with your nose. Drawing circles with your nose so you're getting a little rotation at the base of your skull. Good. And then if you would like, you might change the direction of those nose circles. Go as big or small as you like, as fast or as slowly. Check to see what suits you best. Good. And then come back to center. Inhale. And exhale. Good. All right. Reaching. If you would like, you might switch the cross of your legs. If we're not sitting with legs crossed, maybe we have our legs out in front. Maybe we're in a chair however is most comfortable for you. So we probably have a, a usual cross of our legs. So you might just switch. And so now I'm bringing my right foot in first and your left foot is on the outside, for example. All right, now reach your arms out to the sides and then bring your right arm onto your left arm and give yourself a hug. Good. Now you might stay here like this. Oh, I love you so much. It's spring, there's robins and daffodils, and there's purple crocuses, that kind of thing. All right, so here you might stay here getting some stretch through your shoulders. Maybe it's in your practice to do eagle arms. So with eagle arms, we bring our forearms up and hook that bottom hand around the top hand. Now, if that's uncomfortable for your shoulders, or if it took away from some of the stretch that you got in the first variation, you can go back to that. Good. However, you're finding yourself, relax your shoulders again, relaxing your jaw as well. And then optional here to move very slowly, maybe starting just a little seaweed, perhaps just a little side to side seaweed. Remembering this as a tool ah, to regulate the nervous system. Maybe we find that there's some room in our body to take circles. Could be that we are exploring this pose, this stretch, these sensations in stillness. So find the medicine that's right for you. Maybe you had a very still day, so you want to have a lot of movement here. Maybe you had a lot of movement in your day and you would prefer to take this time for a little more stillness. This is why there's yoga for everybody. You find what is right for you. Good. All right. Back at center, full breath in. Full breath out. Good, and then free your arms, reach your arms out to the sides, reach, reach, reach. And then we'll switch the cross, so now your left arm under your right, you might start off with that sweet hug. Good job, self, good job, good job. You got through winter, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> good, all right. Mm -hmm. I love you, body, this home for this lifetime my vessel to dance me through the fields of flowers. Good. All right, so again, some of you might stay with this variation of the pose. Maybe it does work in your shoulders and arms to bring your forearms up and hook that bottom hand around to the top. Garudasana or eagle arms. 
Shoulders relaxing down. Soften your jaw. Relax your tongue. Here again, it might be that we hang out in the seaweed. Letting that be our practice today. Maybe there's some space that we want to round forward and really open up the back body. And again, the other variation of playing with circles, perhaps exhaling forward, inhaling up, exhaling, and inhaling. Good. And you can always balance if that's your preference. You can go the other direction with some circles. And again, sometimes stillness is what's called for. So it might be that this whole time I've been giving options, you've been in your meditative stillness, letting the pose, your breath and your awareness, do everything that you need to have done. Good. And when you are ready, we'll release. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sides. Ah, exhale, releasing your arms back down. Let's reach all the way up high to the sky. Inhale, bringing your hands in front of your heart. Exhale. Let's take our Matanji Mudra again, interlacing your hands. You'll release your middle fingers up. So you have your middle fingers pressing into each other. Hands in front of your solar plexus. Either fingers pointing out or up. Good. Eyes can be open or closed, whatever helps you to connect. Three breaths. you are ready, gently release. Releasing your hands. Let's take a moment now to come onto our back. So if you do have your blanket, you might stretch it out long just for a little extra padding or cushioning under your back body. Maybe you have a nice thick yoga mat, so you could have your body just extended out directly. As you come all the way down onto your back, let's take a big full body stretch to begin. So stretching out through your legs, reach your arms up overhead along the floor. A little check-in with your wrists, twirling them around in circles. And with your ankles, moving them around as well. Check in with your fingers. A little spreading out, wiggling of your fingers and curling in. And with your toes, spreading them out, wiggling them around. Good. When you're ready, bend both knees. Bring your feet onto the floor. You can adjust through your low back if you need to, lifting your hips and lowering them back down. And then rest your hands onto your low belly here. Here is our pose called constructive rest. And this is where we have, in our weeks together, practiced our diaphragmatic breathing. So I'd invite you to take this time to tap into that gentle rise and expansion on your inhale, feeling your belly rise. And then your belly relaxing back on your exhale. Again, if it's comfortable, you might close your eyes really focusing your attention and awareness on your breath. Again, you might decide to stay there. Perhaps that's the 
practice that's calling to you today to rest in stillness with your breath. If you are ready, you could bring your knees in towards your chest, wrap your arms gently around your legs, giving your body a squeeze here. And then let's rock side to side. So right and left, intending this movement to provide a massage across your hips, your shoulders, and along the muscles of your back. You could place one hand onto each knee and then move your knees together in some circles. You might notice here how the massage is more targeted in your low back. And change the direction of these circles as well. Back at center, optional here, if it works in your body, lifting your head on an exhale, round into a little ball, squeeze, and then inhale your head and shoulders back down, bring your feet down to the mat, step your feet a little wider apart on your yoga mat, bring your hands under your head and let your elbows drop wide to the sides. If this arm position is not comfortable for your shoulders, you could have your arms into a T, out to the sides or up into a cactus or a goalpost position. Inhale deeply here, exhale, taking your knees over to the right, turn your head gently to the left. Couple more breaths here on this side, breathing into the sensations that you find, perhaps a stretch across the front of your left thigh, Opening up into your hip crease. Good. Inhale, bringing your knees and your head back to center. And then exhale your legs over to the left, turning your head to the right. Good. We're here for a few rounds of breath. Inhale back to center, bring your head and your knees back, and then over to the right side again. Taking your knees to the right, turn your head to the left, staying for a few rounds of breath. Good, inhale, bring your head and your knees to center. Exhale, take your legs to the left and turn your head to the right. Inhale, bringing your knees and your head back to center. Release your arms from under your head or from out by your sides. And let's bring our right knee in, give your leg a squeeze in towards your chest. A nice hug here. And then extend your right leg up towards the sky. Just give a little massage, rubbing your calf muscle, circle around your knees, maybe long muscle, long strokes on your upper thigh. You can move your ankle around again while it's up in the sky, helping to release any tightness. Maybe you got out for a walk today. We're just releasing some of that blood flow from our feet. Good. And now bring your right knee into your chest again. Give that leg a tight squeeze in towards your body and extend your left leg out long. Now we're going to stay here for five rounds of breath. Shoulders are as relaxed as possible. Keep that nice squeeze and notice your diaphragmatic breathing. As you inhale, your belly gently presses into your thigh. And as you exhale, your belly relaxes back. Good. 
When you're ready, release your right foot down, stretch your leg out long, thick full body stretch here. Extending out through your fingers and toes, big, big, big stretch. And then bend your knees again, relax your arms down by your sides, adjust your low back if you need to. Take a full breath here. And now gather your left knee into your chest. Give your leg a nice strong hug into your body. Nice squeeze. Good. And now reach that left leg up to the sky, massaging your leg. So massage your calf muscle. Do a little circle around your knee joint. And then massaging the long thigh muscles. And while your foot's up in the sky, dance your toes a little, getting them ready for flip-flops and walking in the grass in spring weather. Good. Now bend your knee into your chest again. Hug your left leg in and straighten your right leg along the floor. Now as you're here for five breaths, really nice focus on your diaphragmatic breathing. And when your five rounds of breath are complete, release your left foot down, stretch your leg out long. Let's have another full body stretch. Hmm. Coming back to constructive rest when you are ready. Bend your knees, feet onto the mat, relax your arms down. Perhaps hands resting onto your belly again. Tune into the movement of your breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Cross your right ankle up over your left knee, letting your right knee drop open wide to the side. Now, keeping your ankle crossed perhaps above the ankle bone and maybe even giving some attention to keeping your foot flexed. Good. Now, optional to stay right here, opening up through the space of your right hip and thigh. Maybe it's available for you to lift your legs in this position in towards your chest and take a hold of your left thigh. You would reach your right hand between left hand around and holding on around your left thigh. Another option might be to put your left foot either up onto a yoga block, maybe onto a chair or even against a wall. You could scoot over so you're by a couch and put your foot up onto the edge of the of the sofa. Good. So we'll be here for about five to eight rounds of breath. So make sure it's a sustainable position for you. Some of you might be holding on in front of your left shin. Wherever you're at, focusing on your breath, your constant companion. So checking in with yourself here. It may feel like if you stay for a few more breaths, your hip will release even more. So by all means, stay. When you are ready, 
We'll release our feet back down to the mat. Now here between sides, if you'd like, you might stretch your legs out long, opening the front of your hips, opening the back of your knees, and then we'll set up our second side. As you bend your knees, cross your left ankle over your right knee this time. Here again, we might remain here with our foot on the floor. You could put your right foot up onto a yoga block or a stack of books, maybe on a chair or against a wall. The other option is to thread the needle, holding on around your right thigh. Good. Whichever variation that you find yourself in, settle into focusing on your breath again now. Again, if you would like to stay a little while longer, by all means, when you are ready, you can gently release. Releasing your feet down, stretch your legs out long again, maybe a full body stretch, arms up overhead. And then eventually we will transition up to a tabletop position. So for some of you that might be rolling to one side, taking your time to press up to seated, or you could rock and roll, holding the back of your thighs, rocking forward and back, perhaps a couple of times, and then gradually coming around to hands and knees. Again, you might choose to put your blanket for under your knees. It can be a nice option. And in your tabletop position, explore having and the eyes of your elbows or the inside bend of your elbows pointing in towards each other. <laughs> Good. A couple more breaths, just neutralizing here through your spine and table. Good. Now shift your hips over to the right and look over your left shoulder. And then come back to center. And then shift your hips to the left and look over your right shoulder. Let's come back to center. Again, shift your hips to the right and look over your left shoulder. And then come back to center. Shift your hips to the left and look over your right shoulder. Good. Coming back to center. On your next inhalation, cow pose. So tilt your sitting bones up towards the sky, bringing your heart forward, looking forward. And then exhale, cat pose. Arch your spine towards the sky. Press into your hands, stretch your upper back, and release your head down. Continuing here, cow pose, inhale, lift your sitting bones, bring your heart forward, lift your chin slightly, and then exhale, cat pose. Here again, you might feel your navel center moving in towards your spine with your exhale. Two more of each, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. So when you move into cow pose, the eyes of your elbows might explore turning forward. Exhale, cat pose. And then let's come back to that neutral tabletop position. Open your knees a little wider apart, big toes in towards each other, child's pose. Shift your hips back towards your heels, walking your arms forward and resting, perhaps 
resting your elbows, maybe stacking your hands, resting your head. It might be available for you to rest your head directly onto the mat. On your next inhale, let's come back up onto hands and knees in your tabletop position. Hands are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips. We'll take a little bit of a, a circular motion through our hips. So shifting your hips over to the right, sweeping them back any amount towards your heels, and then coming around up the left side. We'll just do a couple of circles in each way, shifting your hips over to the right, back by your heels, and then up around the left side. And one more time in this direction. And then back to table. Let's change the direction. Shift your hips to the left, back by your heels, circling around up the left side, right side rather. <laughs> shifting your hips over to the left, back by your heels, up and around the right side. And one more time in this direction, shifting back, swooping around, and coming back up. Very nice. Step your hands, one hand print forward, maybe, maybe one hand print, maybe a little more, and then shift forward so you're in a half push-up position. Here in this half push-up position, you'll notice your core engages, your core fires up right away. So from that position of eyes of your elbows or inside elbows looking towards each other, turn the eyes of your elbows to point towards the front of the mat. Looking forward on your mat, you're going to bend your elbows a tiny bit back. Bend them just a little bit and then straighten them again. Good. Keep your core strong. We're going to do three more. Bend your elbows a little bit back and then straighten them again. Two more times, bending them back. So it's a little practice instead of getting them to bend out to the sides and then straighten again. And then bending them a little bit and straighten. Nice job, everyone. Come all the way down onto your belly. Slide your arms forward. You're going to come into Sphinx Pose. In Sphinx Pose, your forearms are parallel, pressing into your elbows, lifting up through your heart. Now either staying here, maybe moving your elbows a little farther forward if that feels better for your low back. Good. Now optional here, some of you might find seal pose. Turning your hands out slightly, so turning your hands a little bit out, and then press into your hands, lift your elbows. Maybe you're here for one, three, five breaths. You can always stay in your cobra pose, see what works best for you. When you are ready, we'll lower down. Take your elbows out to the sides, stack your hands, rest your head, and relax your legs. Now you might explore taking your legs into crocodile position where you scoot your feet a little wider apart and turn to rest towards the inner arches of your feet. So turning your toes to point out left and right, letting your heels come in towards each other, and your feet will be wide apart, so maybe even wider than your yoga mat, so that you can have a little extra space through your low back. And if you did find crocodile pose, and just bring your legs a little closer in towards each other. 
Bend your knees so your feet are up towards the ceiling and then just sway your feet, your legs a little bit from side to side. Release your feet back down, bring your hands under your shoulders. Inhale, press up to table. Adjust in through your spine, take a pause, neutralize here in table. Again, you might explore letting the inside bends of your elbows point towards each other. Long neck here, smooth, even breath. And for those of you practicing downward dog, you might find one downward dog here. Otherwise, you could go into child's pose. In downward dog, tuck your toes, lift your knees, stretching your hips up high. You might lift and lower your heels a couple of times. Long spine, reaching all the way from your tailbone to the crown of your head. And when you're ready, slowly lowering back down. And we'll bring our blanket in. So depending on the size of your blanket, a couple of variations, it's nice to have it along the length of our spine. So if you have a smaller blanket, you might roll it. Since this is a rather thick blanket, it could be that I fold it or, or roll it. All right, not very symmetrical. All right, so a folded blanket down the center of your yoga mat. And then you'll sit in front of your blanket. So your seat will be on the mat, the blanket will be just behind you. And as you recline back over the support, aiming to have it lifting and opening up through your chest and lungs. Your arms can rest out to the sides, turning the hands open will invite openness through the front body. And then options for your legs, you might do a reclined butterfly where you have the bottom of your feet touch each other, your knees open to the sides. You could have your legs extended out in this pose or even keeping them with your knees bent and feet onto the floor. So as you're setting yourself up here, make sure your low back feels comfortable. If you do have a larger blanket, sometimes if it's too high, right where your low back meets it, you might just scoot it a little farther out so you have a, a bit more space in the curve. Good. So as you're settling in here, Situating, placing right shoulder blade and left shoulder blade, adjusting through your low back and your legs. Nice full breaths, a nice deep inhalation, perhaps a cleansing exhalation. If it's comfortable for you to close your eyes, really letting your body release into the support. Fully letting go into this moment. The lift and openness of your heart, your chest, and your shoulders. And for a moment, we will practice our square breathing. So with our square breathing, you'll find a four count inhalation. Hold the breath in for four counts. And then a four count exhalation. And then holding the breath out for four counts. So take your time as you establish your square breathing. Inhaling for the count of four. Holding the breath in for the count of four. 
Exhaling for the count of four. And holding the breath out for the count of four. If we look at the state of the breath, we can come to know the state of the mind. When the breath is stable, the mind is stable. When the breath is unstable, the mind is unstable. to continue with your square breathing, perhaps bringing that practice with you for a few more moments. ready to release the breathing pattern, releasing your square breathing for now, knowing you can return to this practice. If you have your legs in your butterfly position, you might bring them back to center. If you have your legs extended out, you might bend your knees. We're going to shift off of the support the yoga blanket. So to do so, you might just gently roll to one side, press up only enough just to move that blanket off to the side, and then recline back down onto a flat back. If you'd like, you can put the blanket over your body or even under your knees. And we'll take a moment in Shavasana Our pose of integration, giving us this moment of practice to pause, finding gratitude, experiencing great relief and release with the breath. Inhale. And then sigh out your breath. Give a nice exhale, <sighs> inviting your body to relax into stillness. Now, as you're here in Shavasana for a few moments, you might do a body scan from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes, finding all of the ways that you could relax a little bit more.
breath. Awareness to your body. Turn of your head side to side. And eventually, you'll stretch through your arms and your legs. Before coming to seated, you might roll to one side, taking a pause on your side. And eventually making your way to seated. Rubbing your hands together for a moment here. Generate a little heat, a little energy in your palms. Then place your palms lightly over your eyes, inhaling deeply, and exhaling completely. So, using your fingers to straighten out across your eyebrows, perhaps a massage from the center of your forehead, sweeping your fingers to the sides towards your temples. Circling around your temples, maybe a massage in front of your ears, massage behind your ears. You give a little massage of your ears. All right. Bring your hands down the length of your arms, along the space of your abdomen, along your back, perhaps massaging a little bit down your legs to your feet and your toes. And then bringing your hands together in front of your heart. May you feel harmonious. May you feel clear and open and free. Full breath in. And as you exhale, a little bow of your heart, your head towards your heart. A little smile here. Thank you so much for your practice. The light, the love, the pure presence in me bows to the light and the love and the pure presence in you. Namaste. Mm.